The investigation into potential regulatory violations by Mega Bank took an unexpected turn today. Officials assigned to the case allegedly found that a disclosure report submitted by the bank's New York branch to state financial authorities overstated the value of its credit transactions with Mega's Panama subsidiary by four billion NT dollars. The cabinet stressed that it would continue its probe. Ding Kehua, the chairman of the Financial Supervisory Commission, had to take off his glasses to make sure he was reading things right. It was a report from a meeting of the Cabinet Task Force assigned to the mega bank inquiry, which cited a massive clerical error as one of the reasons for the probe. Mega's report to the New York Department of Financial Services was off by four billion NT dollars. Mega Financial Chairman Michael Zhang testified at the meeting that Mega Bank New York's 2014 report to U.S. state authorities of the value of its credit transactions with the bank's Panama branch erroneously misstated 491 million NT dollars as 4.491 billion NT dollars. But many lawmakers believe that the error described by Zhang was actually an attempted cover-up of other indiscretions. Even now, I find this all very hard to believe. If any branch accounts are off by even one NT dollar, that means that everyone has to work overtime to clear things up before they can go home. So how is it possible that something like this could happen? Premier Lin Chuan today announced that the former heads, as well as current directors of the FSC and the Finance Ministry, could be called to account in the expanding investigation into Mega and its subsidiaries.